How will Israel's most right-wing administration use its authority? Please make advantage of the sharing options available via the share button located at the top or side of articles. Copying articles to distribute to others is against FT.com's terms of service and copyright policy. To purchase more rights, send an email to licensing at FT.com. Subscribers may share up to 10 or 20 articles each month using the gift article service. Itamar Benver was appointed as Israel's new Minister of National Security by Benjamin Netanyahu shortly after footage emerged of Israeli troops fighting with left-leaning protesters in Hebron, a sensitive area in the occupied West Bank. An activist was knocked to the ground by a soldier, who then punched him in the head on camera. Another was seen issuing a stern warning to Israeli activists who had been to the city to defend Palestinians who had been assaulted there by Israeli settlers a week before. Benver, the extreme ultranationalist who will soon be in charge of Israel's police, is going to put everything in order here, he claimed. You've had enough of creating a mess. What is lawful here is decided by me. The incident caused a stir. The Israeli military said it would not allow troops abusing their position of power and suspended the first soldier and sentenced the second to six days in prison. However, it also heightened concerns about the potential effects of what is expected to be the most right-wing administration in Israel's modern history, both domestically and internationally. After winning the nation's sixth election in three and a half years last month, Netanyahu is about to take up residence in the prime minister's office, where he has spent 15 of the previous 26 years. By December 21, he must complete his most recent administration. But its outline is clearly visible.